What's up guys, Rogue9 here. The Rainbow Six Siege TTS with Operation Chimera has been available for a while now and there have been some significant changes on show in addition to the two new operators of course. The changes to Blitz and Ella have caused the greatest stir but besides that there have also been a few little changes that have gone mostly unnoticed. Many thanks to Tony for the tip-off about the SMG-12 and this supposed change especially caught my eye since it was not mentioned in the TTS patch notes. So here we are back again exploring a little change that will be well worth knowing about. Is the MP-12 really no longer silenced? And if that has changed, what other changes might there be? Let's find out. Ok, Tony tells us that the gun is no longer suppressed so let's maybe start out there. I compared the sound signature of the weapon from about 9 meters distance and this is what the gun sounds like now and what it will sound like once the year 3 season 1 patch drops on the 6th of March. I think the difference is pretty clear, the sound signature has changed and the new version of the MP12 will also provide a threat indicator to your opponents once Operation Chimera drops while the current version does not do that. Now let's quickly compare the stats to see if there is anything else that will be changing. Nope, the stats remain exactly the same including the recoil pattern but ooh, look how pretty the gun stat menu will be in future. The guns are now slightly angled and you can play around with them if you like. But back to business. The stats don't really help us here, but there is one thing that I think is noteworthy. The MP12 was never able to take a muzzle attachment and that made sense because the gun already had a fixed suppressor attached. Much like the MP5 SD or 612 SD. Now that the machine pistol no longer has the advantage of being suppressed, still not being able to use muzzle attachments is a disadvantage compared to the other machine pistols in the game. And considering that especially Dokkabi needs to rely on her sidearm quite a bit, having the option to control recoil a bit more would be really helpful. Before we move on from the in-game stats though, I do want to double check them to make sure that there's nothing going on behind the scenes. But before that, I want to take a quick moment to thank Swagbucks for sponsoring this video. Swagbucks is a website that allows you to earn reward points through actions such as taking surveys, playing games, watching videos, searching the web or my personal favourite, simply shopping online. You can then convert these reward points into gift cards from shops such as Amazon and Steam and what better way to get hold of some free Rainbow Six credits or DLC items. Click the link in the description below to earn a $5 sign up bonus simply for creating an account and start earning your rewards today. Back to the MP12. Those of you who have seen my online gun stat sheet might remember that the current version of the MP12 doesn't actually do the 28 points of baseline damage that the menu wants to make us believe. Since its release, the actual baseline damage of the gun has been 27 points instead, which is probably down to some minor rounding issue, but it did mean that you would need 5 bullets to down a 2 armor opponent from close range, rather than 4. Testing the new version on the TTS shows us that this issue seems to have been fixed. The MP12 now will actually cause 28 points of damage with a body shot to a level 1 armor operator. At distance, the change is even more pronounced. The current MP12 only does 19 points of damage at 28 meters or above, significantly weaker than the three other machine pistols. But on the TTS, the minimum damage has been raised to 22 points instead, putting the gun on par with its peers. So in losing the suppressor, the MP12 has also lost at least some of the damage penalty that it used to have. Nevertheless, the baseline damage of 28 is still significantly lower than the other MPs and the only thing that makes up for this is the larger magazine. And last but not least, let's double check the recoil patterns to make sure that there have not been any sneaky shenanigans there. I came back to the little spot that I used in my recent Blackbeard recoil comparison video and don't be distracted by the fact that I still have an optic attached to the old MP12. I made sure to remove the grip and the optic won't affect the recoil so we'll be okay with this comparison. I tested the recoil both in single fire and full auto mode at a distance of 9 meters and here's what the final patterns looked like for the way the MP12 works in the current build. 
If I go ahead and overlay the results from the TTS, I think it becomes quite clear that the patterns are similar enough to conclude that there will be no change to the gun's recoil. So in conclusion, a lot of things about the gun will stay the same. Same recoil, mag size, ammo count and attachment options. Oh, and I also tested the reload time, that's also the same. But it looks like the MP12 will be losing its integral suppressor and gaining one extra point of damage at close range and three extra points of damage at 28 meters or above. What do I make of this change? Well, it's hard to say whether this is a buff or a nerf. Adding a bit more power is nice, but at the same time, most of the gain is at a relatively long range where the MPs are no longer the best option anyway, and the MP12 is still considerably weaker than the other machine pistols. In addition to this, because of the continued lack of muzzle attachment options, the controllability of the MP12 is still relatively poor, which means that at the distance where we will see the most damage gain with the new release, the gun will still be mostly ineffective anyway. The bottom line for me is that the damage gain is not enough to make up for the stealth loss, and on balance these changes are a minor nerf in my eyes. This will mostly affect Dokibi since Vigil is a lot less reliant on his secondary, and it will push Dokibi even further into the role of long range supporter. But as always, those last few points are just my personal opinion. What do you think about the changes to the MP12, buff or nerf? Let me know in the comments section below and with that as always, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.